if you really want to escape the things that harass you. What you're needing is not to be in a different place, but to be a different person. Don't do nothing. That's a big mistake because all you do is get older and weaker and you withdraw more. And so even if you don't know what to do, pursuing nothing is a very bad idea. You have no hope then because hope comes from pursuit and you're anxious because you need to specify a path. So you have no hope and you're anxious if you do nothing. So nothing is not the answer. Because if you don't start changing your attitude, you will miss your altitude. The problem is not the conditions, it's the discipline. There is no shortcut to excellence. And your problem is you're not intentional and deliberate. You wake up on Monday, you might be strong, but by Wednesday, you're not intentional and deliberate. You are hoping that the best is going to happen to you and the best never happens to you. Defeating those negative instincts that are out to defeat us is the difference between winning and losing. That idea isn't going to execute itself. That book isn't going to write itself. Those weights out in the gym, they aren't going to move themselves. You have to do it. And you have to do it now. You have to fight back against procrastination. When you feel that hesitation, get hyper aggressive. Kick in that door and bust into that room. Go. Do not wait. Take that first step and make it happen. You initiate action. You go. No more bowing down to whatever unhealthy or unproductive thoughts float through my mind. No more waiting for the perfect moment and no more indecision and no more lies. You don't want to go run, you go run. You don't want to go swim, you go swim. You don't want to study, you can study. That's how you start to callous your mind. It's going to suck. It's not going to be fun. Do something that sucks every single day of your life. That's how you grow. Whatever it is I want, this price is going to get much higher than this. It's going to get harder than this. And I've decided in advance it's going to be difficult, and I've decided in advance to stay in. I'm going to stay in the hunt. I'm going to stay fighting. I'm going to stay busting it. I'm going to pay the price until I get what it is that I deserve. The people in life that win play offense, not defense. Stop backing into everything. Stand up. Bow your back a little bit. Start to walk a little different. Start to be that best version of you. It's you. You're going to determine the outcome of your life. You're going to determine whether or not your life is exciting or whether or not it's boring. You look at your life. You look at what you produce. Is it giving you what you want? Are you living on purpose? Are you living your dream? Are you acting on your ideas? Are you doing all you can do? Have you gotten comfortable? Are you challenging yourself? Are you experimenting? Are you learning something different? Is your life an adventure or is it boring? You got some idea, some dream that you might have to go back and brush it off and look at it again and say, I've got to do this. This is my stuff. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is why I showed up. Where are you going with your life? Let us prepare our minds as if we'd come to the very end of life. Let us postpone nothing. Let us balance life's books each day. The one who puts the finishing touches on their life each day is never short of time. Not to feel exasperated or defeated or despondent because your days aren't packed with wise and moral actions, but to get back up when you fail to celebrate behaving like a human, however imperfectly, and fully embrace the pursuit that you've embarked on. Suppose that a god announced that you were going to die tomorrow or the day after. Unless you were a complete coward, you wouldn't kick up a fuss about which day it was. What difference could it make? Now recognize that the difference between years from now and tomorrow is just as small. I've seen what happens in the brain. You're going to make your brain worse. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make my inner world more real than my outer world. And some days are easier than others. But I'm not going to give up. I'm just not. I mean, if I'm going to carve out some time, then I'm all in. Step by step. You can't get impatient doing this. You can't get frustrated doing this. You can't get resentful doing this. You can't force it or control it doing it. I've seen what happens in the brain. 
you're gonna make your brain worse. So sooner or later, you start figuring out that isn't it, and all of a sudden you start following the instructions. And you start going, wow, that was really easy. What was I doing up to this point? Everything but the formula. You were doing everything else but the formula, doing it your way, analytical mind telling you to quit, it's too hard, you'll never get it. Yeah, those are the exact things that are standing in the way between you and your future. And every time you become conscious that you do that and you settle back down, that's a victory. There's two skills you gotta master to have life on your terms, to have an extraordinary life. To me, an extraordinary life is life on your terms. It's not my life. So what is it for you? For some people, that's uh, you know a white picket fence and three children. For some people, it's building a big business. For some people, it's being an author. It's like so many different things, poetry, music. So everybody's gotta find it is what it is that they really love. But the skills you gotta master to have life on your terms is one, the science of achievement. That's what you're describing. How do I take what I envision and make it real? And those are strategies, and they are proven strategies. There are certain rules of the game if you want to be healthy and you want a lot of energy. Everyone's biochemically slightly different, but there's certain rules. If you violate them, you're going to have low energy and dis-ease. If you align with them, you're going to have enormous energy and strength. Same thing around finance. Anyone can grow financially, but most people don't learn the basic fundamentals. And so they're missing the strategy. So that's strategy driven, and I spend a good portion of my life teaching people that. But then the second part is what creates lasting fulfillment. And lasting fulfillment, as you said, I always say progress equals happiness. If we're not making progress, we're not happy. But it doesn't require progress every moment and noticing it either. That's another catch-all. That's my lifestyle and your lifestyle, right? Our lifestyle is the formula that you described. But the really ultimate formula besides progress is appreciation because you can make progress and then always have to make progress each moment to be happy. So we do need to grow. What you said is true fundamentally. Everything in the world grows or dies. Everything in the universe contributes or it's eventually eliminated uh, you know, by nature. So those aren't my laws, those are the laws of nature. However, happiness only requires that you are grateful. If you've got a billion dollars and three beautiful children that love you and a beautiful husband or wife, but it doesn't matter what you have if you're not grateful, if you live in an emotional home, habitual pace of worry or frustration, your life's called worry and frustration. So it's you can be making progress and still be worried and frustrated. So it isn't quite just what you said. You have to also develop a new decision that says, I'm going to live a different life. I, I have a, a vision for my life spiritually and that vision spiritually is I'm gonna live in a beautiful state no matter what. That doesn't mean I'm never gonna get upset or frustrated or pissed off. It just means I got a 90 second rule that I'm gonna get out of that as fast as possible and solve it from a beautiful place so that I'm adding value to the people around me and myself. So my own biochemistry gets the benefit of that. And so that doesn't mean that you're always making progress. I love progress. I think progress equals happiness, but it isn't the only secret to that. It's really, can you train your brain to appreciate? Because in the middle of whatever you're pissed off about or frustrated or fearful about or worried about, you're deleting all the things you could be grateful for, you could appreciate that are absolutely real. And that's the problem with the mind. And, you know, I want your listeners or viewers to really think about this. You do not experience life. You experience the life you focus on. That's it. If you focus on what's wrong, what's wrong is always available. So is what's right. And so our focus produces our meanings and emotions, which produce the actions of our life. So it really starts with the patterns of your focus. Do you tend to focus on what you have or what's missing? Most achievers that are looking to make progress I mean, I've dealt with millions of them over the years, as you all well know. I'm one, you're one, right? Most achievers, that progress thing is really important. They're like, oh, we've got to have the next thing. And well, that's really wonderful, but it's only one way of doing things. And so it's like saying to yourself, wait a second, I'm going to, whether there's progress or not, I'm going to find the good in this. I'm going to find the great in this. And what that does is it produces a different fuel to live your life from. And from that fuel, it's easy to make progress. You know, I used to tell myself, I got really pissed off. My brain gets really sharp and fast and figures the answers. Well, that's true. But when I'm really in a great state, my brain is fast and quick and I enjoy it and people around me enjoy it. So it's also deciding how you're going to be, not just what you're going to do. And I think the combination of those is where the quality of life that people are really looking for shows up. When force of circumstance upsets your equanimity, Lose no time in recovering your self-control and do not remain out of tune longer than you can help. Habitual recurrence to the harmony will increase your mastery of it. 
It is my bad luck that this has happened to me. No, you should rather say, it is my good luck that although this has happened to me, I can bear it without pain, neither crushed by the present nor fearful of the future. Because such a thing could have happened to any man, but not every man, could have borne it without pain. So why see more misfortune in the event than good fortune in your ability to bear it? The happiness and unhappiness of the rational social animal depends not on what he feels, but on what he does, just as his virtue and vice consist not in feeling, but in doing. Here's something else for those who make it today. Do what you know is right. Treat people like you want to be treated. Don't try and take any shortcuts. Don't try and cheat. Pay your dues up front. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, what goes around comes around. You can pay now or you will pay double later. So do the right thing. There might be a tendency sometimes because of the negative part of our consciousness and our own programming for us to want to say, well, I just do it this time. It won't matter. Won't nobody know. Ladies and gentlemen, everything matters. And you know you're somebody. You know. I'd rather lose out on my dream doing the right thing than the cheat trying to make a shortcut to get to my goal. I want to be able to look myself in the mirror. And that's what you want to do. There's no saying, judge a man not by what he does, but by that that he doesn't have to do. And to judge the true quality of a man is what do you do when nobody's looking. See, there's some good out there for you in the universe that has your name on it. And nobody can get your good. It has your name on it. They can't take your stuff. It's your stuff. So when you know that, when you know that whatever you're seeking, it's also seeking you. You don't worry. You don't run scared. You don't think somebody's going to take it from you. You listen to your inner voice and you always take the high road. There will be the tendency, the natural inclination to take the low road. You must resist that. Repeat after me, please. I will always take the high road. And do the right thing. And do the right thing. No matter what. No matter what.